So here's the register machine web app. Um, the purpose of this is to introduce tools or concepts of computer programming. And it's based on an idealized computer called a register machine. Um, now in this web app, there are a bunch of challenges that you complete um, after stepping through the tutorial. Um, so I'm going to skip the tutorial and go straight to the challenges. Um, and you can see here a number of challenges that have been added. Um, the first one's already complete. I'm going to walk through how to um, attack the second challenge. Um, so opening up the challenge page, you can see the challenge description. So um, in the first um, exercise or the first challenge, you added two registers together. Now you need to extend the add program to add the numbers stored in registers one, two, three. So the registers are, think of buckets that can hold a whole number of, um, of beans. Um, and then we have for each, um, each challenge, we have a program, a bunch of controls that control the register machine, and also some tests. And when you pass the test, then you've completed the exercise. Uh, so you also have like a graph that shows the layout of your program. And that updates as you update the program. Um, so I'll just run the test to show you how it works. Um, so it's very quickly running through and executing the tests and you can see it's failed. So it says up here, oh, your program didn't pass. And then you can click to um, get a, a bit of a hint on how to attack this one. So uh, having seen that, I'm now going to just work through and add um, steps to the program. So there are three different instructions. There's inc, which increments the value of a specified register. The, um, there's deb, which is a decrement or branch. So if the register value that you are working on is greater than zero, then you decrement that register. And otherwise, if it's zero, then you branch to a different step than you would normally. The third instruction that you can use is end, which halts the register machine. Now to edit our um, program, uh, we let's add in another couple of steps, um, like this. Um, and we can, while it's hidden, you can see that there's a um, an edit icon on the on the program. So um, as these two steps can't be edited, let's make this um, step to uh, three. So basically we want to apply the same principle. This is adding the first two registers. This is the same program that we saw in the challenge one. Now we want to do the same thing, except we're adding um, register two to register three and storing the result in register three. Now I'll just show you as an example, you can change the values freely as you want um, on the registers. You can also step through the program um, and execute different instructions. So um, now we've got this, these first two steps adding together. Let's look at um, step three. We want this to be a decrement, so we're going to decrement register two, and then we want to increment register three. And so that will add register two's value to register three. So we will decrement register two, and when we're finished, we want to go to step uh, four, um, and we will actually branch, once that's complete, we're going to want to um, branch to the end instruction. So let's make that um, branch, uh, step five. Um, and now let's edit step four. So this one's going to be an increment and we're acting on register three because that's where we want our final result to be stored. And we want to go back to step three once step four is complete. So let's select go to step three. Uh, so that's all finished. Let's just have a quick look at the graph. Um, so this is now reflecting the updated state of um, our program. You can see that it's looping through um, one uh, steps one and two until it's added those two values together. And then it, it loops through registers, um, sorry, steps three and four um, and storing the result in register three, um, and then it finishes. Uh, so now let's try again. So let's run those tests. Uh, so they're execu executing quickly. So we passed step one, test one. 
and we've passed test two. So that's great. Um, and now once you've done that, you can go on and look at the next challenge. So the, this challenge, uh, you need to zero one of the register or all of the registers um, so that it's clean out before the next program. But I'll let you uh, figure that out on your own. Enjoy.